hi in the previous video we have created this employee form but we haven't added the submit button and the action attribute so in this video let's do that so what i'll do is i'll go to the eclipse and inside our add employee.jsp so next to the address or just below the address i'm going to create a button so i'm going to attach a break and i'm going to create a button which is a submit button and the value which is save employee so inside our form or to the form tag we are going to add a one more attribute which is nothing but an action attribute to this action attribute we are going to pass the request mapping url i'm gonna call this save process you can give any name you want so now when the user click the submit button the controller should navigate to this url which is slash save process this slash slash save process haven't we created in our controller let's create it i'm going to create a method and this will return model and view let me change this to string and i'm gonna call this save process attach a request mapping and we're going to pass the value for the action attribute which is save process inside this i'm going to take the employee object i'm going to use model attribute we're going to use the same name which we have added to our model attribute let's copy this name and i'll paste it inside the model attribute and i'm going to create a reference variable for our employee object so inside this i'm going to just print the employee object and i'm going to change it to void okay just we will print it so let's save this and what i'll do is i'm going to save the jsp as well so now i'm going to rerun the application all right the application is started and it is opening in a new tab let me close the previous tab i'm going to click on this add employee i'm going to enter a i'm going to click on this save employee and you can see in the console it is printing the employee object which is right now we have id is null and the full name which is abc email abc at gmail.com gender mail hobbies books swimming and country india and address bangalore so the user entered values are coming to controller so now we have to store this employee object in our database so what i'll do is i'm going to get rid of this statement and what i'll do is i'm going to make use of the mapper and i'm going to call the save employee method and to the save employee method we're going to pass the employee object and i'm going to return the string instead of void and what i'll do is i'm going to uh, once we store the employee record we are navigating to the list employees jsp so for that what i'll do is i'm going to call this method the least employees method which is this so what i'll do is i'm going to return redirect colon slash basically we are calling this method by using redirect keyword okay let's save this and i'm going to restart the application all right the application is started so i'm going to reload the web page i'm going to click on this add employee again i'm going to enter the same records which we have entered in the earlier click save employee and you can see the record has been stored in the database and you can see it is redirecting back to the least employees.jsp and we can see the record at the end so if i go to the database and i'm going to rerun the query and you will see the 
record just now we have entered abc abc at gmail.com mail book swimming india and bangalore so now we have completed the save operation so in the next video we are going to look at the update operation then followed by a delete operation thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video